Farewells Around the World, Exploring English-Speaking Cultures Hello, Language Explorers! Today, we are embarking on a fascinating journey as we explore how different English-speaking cultures say goodbye. By understanding these various farewells, you'll not only enrich your English vocabulary but also gain insights into the unique customs of these cultures. Let's start our journey with the United States, a country where English is the primary language. When it comes to saying goodbye, Americans often use informal phrases such as, see you later, catch you later, or simply, bye. If you want to sound more formal, especially in professional settings, you can use phrases like, goodbye, or have a good day. Next, we move across the Atlantic to the United Kingdom, where English originally comes from. While Brits also use common phrases like, goodbye, and see you later, they have a few unique expressions. For instance, cheerio is an informal and somewhat old-fashioned British term for goodbye. Also, you might hear, ta-ta for now, or simply, ta-ta, which is a very casual and somewhat playful way to say goodbye. Now, let's travel to the other side of the globe to Australia, where English also has its unique flavor. Australians often shorten their words and are known for their laid-back style. To say goodbye, they might use, see ya, or the more uniquely Australian phrase, haru. Also, you might hear the term, catch ya round, which is very informal. Our journey ends in Canada, another vast country where English is one of the two official languages. Canadian farewells are quite similar to American ones with common phrases like, goodbye, see you, or take care. However, in certain parts of the country, you may also hear the phrase, take off, a, in a more casual or friendly setting. And there we have it, language explorers. We've traveled through the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada, learning how people in these English-speaking cultures bid farewell. Remember, using these various phrases appropriately can enrich your conversational skills and make you sound more natural. So don't be shy to sprinkle these phrases in your daily English conversations. Stay tuned for more cultural journeys. Until then, as our friends in Australia would say, Haru!